Here we go. John John Florence versus Jack Robinson at pumping main break here on finals day. This is as good as it gets. 35 minute final scored on their top two. Two good friends, but two good rivals. And he's trying to remind everybody that it's his home court. Let's get things started. Swing it into the pocket with JJF on the wrap. Fresh off the 10 from the semifinal over George Pitar. Looking casual as he stretches this one out, going for a cool punt. Little tail high float above the lip, but he will sink and not get credit for that aerial over the bricks. But I love it. We've already started. Uh, the volume got turned up on the performances today as well. And John John Florence, he's at the top of the pack. Check out the replay here of his opening ride. Just gaffing off the top there, just a little off balance. The surface texture has uh, played a part in these last couple of heats. Not as smooth as it was in that last heat where he got the 10. But he got some nice work done. Pops a little uh, air reverse. Just not able to ride out of that one, so the judges will not be fooled. <laughs> the screams and the squeals, and it just makes me, it makes my heart happy. Now Jack Robinson with his first wave in the final. Throws down a beautiful connected snap over the white water. Belts it again with that lean back hack. And then shoves it in the finish, oh, and he no. disappears. Wow. Right when I thought he was going to ride away. It's already lifted, as we say, John out the back. John laying it down, an absolute hook with so much power. Flows through the second effort out in front again. He'll just wrap it. And now Stahl looking for an end section. Throws some water and now just gently stepping off his board. Finding a nice clean road. Just feels comfortable in this kind of scenario. What'd you see here, Rich? Oh, I just saw a beautiful opening gaff. Just, you know, really putting a lot of emphasis and energy into that, that first turn. Just holding that carve, extending, and then a series of beautiful wrapping cutbacks. And then the wave lays down a little bit. John just doing the work through the inside, staying with it. But all the points on this ride is going to come from this opening turn. Gets that board completely on rail, turns it over. And Johnny fired up on this one. This is going to be a, a really good score. The first one, just the 4.33. This is going to go way higher. That connection is absolute magic here at Main Break. That entire rail, that Pizel and Gage flick. I just feel like these two surfers are just bringing the best out of each other. They get matched up and just the level lifts and I can just see it already with Jack, I can see it with John and they're so hungry to beat one another too. You can just see it, like the intensity, it just- the Pressure for Jack, it lifts his energy as you see him throw that one away. Now priority will be with John. Uh -oh. And he's already using it here. Fun looking wave. He's already coiling up off the bottom. Lays down a carve right in front of Jack. Wraps it now patiently waiting for the inside track. Whips it in the pocket one more time and lays into a finish and stays on his feet. Rides away without a problem. Yeah, smart surfing there from John John Florence. Just getting that uh, final maneuver done on that wave. Putting together series of turns not overcooking it your physical ability and also with equipment as we look at john's wave again flick yeah my first takeaway from this is clean second wave of the set a lot cleaner and i heard you say rich you're like uh oh we could just see how clean this wave face was shaping up to be and his first turn was great also like what you said rich he just didn't oversurf it because he knew that jack had fallen he's like hey this is my chance to really capitalize on this moment let's not overcook this and just look how clean that little section was there really tight whip in the pocket. But yeah, was, this is just smart surfing from John right now. But yeah, for me, it's it was that second wave of the set, just allowing him to, wow, just throw everything in and just turning so tight on the dial there in that tight little pocket. That one was a little different too. He actually put the front arm in the wave as he was doing that turn. Almost sort of turned around it, making that arc nice and tight. Now he opens up the wingspan a little bit through these mid-face turns all the way through to the inside and doesn't overpress it on this last turn, just, just enough to get a little bit of tail release. It's good to be home for Jack Robinson as he's rolling in now. Big bottom turn, a big open face hook 
for the local boy. Driving off the bottom, hits the lip, and rides away. Massive two-turn combo for Jack. Let's take another look, Flick. Oh, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Look at that opening carving maneuver from Jack Robinson. Straight up into lips, hypercritical. Comes flying out in front of the explosion. This was exactly the answer back I wanted to see from Jack. Oh, just a, a, an amazing carve to start off. Watch how high Jack goes on the on the lip here. Just carving all the way through it. Stays nice and high. The complete wrap. Now he drops back down. Almost gets a little a barrel almost in the <laughs> foam. And then here's the part here where he had to make this turn to make it a one-two punch. So it was like John John was jabbing him a couple of times. <laughs> Put him up against the ropes. Jack just caught completely bounced back and just gave him a big right hook. Uh, by the time he sort of completed the wrap, the, the wave started to cup out under him and he managed to stay engaged with the wave. Here goes Jack, double grab punt to kick this one off. Right into a wrapping cutback. This man is feeling the energy of Wadandi Buja. Surfing really strong and now throwing out some high performance maneuvers. He even lands that over the bricks. <laughs> High fives for his camp downstairs from Matty Benrose and Leandro Dora. Incredible display here. This one looked a little bit ripply, a little bit wobbly, but Jack just went straight to the air like he did in 2022, just putting that point of difference between him and John. Really critical, straight to the air on the first maneuver. Plays through it here on the inside, and he knows he needs to finish. He's not going to go crazy. Let's just jab it in the pocket here. A little bit tricky there. Rides on out. And I just love how risky that oh, was right there. Geez, that, that's a real good indication of how much height he actually got. He was six foot in the air, sort of uh, took to the air, like the, the, the carve off the bottom was done halfway up the face, got the grab, stays perfectly centered over his board while he's in the air. Did not skip a beat, going straight into the next bottom turn, into a big wrap. And this is that variety that Jack uh, delivers constantly. Well, we've got 12 minutes on the clock. John needing a 10, so I think we've got a couple more exchanges. Here we go, Jack. Come on, son. Look at this thing. alley -oop. Oh, here we go. Energy, bro. Energy. Hey, so, yeah, fun. Super fun. How good's this? Bammy absolutely loves it. Doesn't miss a heat. And just great value. Makes you laugh every time you talk to him. Priority with John, eight minutes to go. Can he come back? Needs a 10. Drives off the bottom, there's that first hook. Crowd silent upstairs. <laughs> Watching the wrap in the pocket again, he needs something big. Gunning for the ramp, tail high, reverse, it's complete! <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't like just sitting there while my competitors catching waves. So let's just have a quick look at this one. This was John's last wave. Rips it up in the pocket there. You can see he's just so hungry for this wave to give him something else. And he shifts his weight forward here on the board. You can eye up this section. He goes for the air reverse, sticks it. Now he's chasing a 10. It's got to be higher than Jack's 9.1. It's got to be It's got to be the best wave of the heat. It's got to be the highest you can possibly go on the scoreboard. Just the air by itself, Rich. How'd you like it? I liked it. I, I thought this wave was actually really cool. On his 9-1-0, and looks like Jack's got some clean water again. Ripping back in the pocket on that Arakawa. Nice wrap again on that higher line. So much speed and flow. Robinson attacking the oncoming section. No disruption to that flow state. The lines he's choosing, covering a lot of ground and surfing with some unpredictability as well. We've got waves coming through the lineup now and John's going. John needs an 8.51 here, 313 on the clock. Motoring down the line on that ghost, he'll throw a carve into the pocket, the wave's going a bit flat. Couple of little bumps on it, pacing himself. He's probably gonna leave it on a big punt attempt here and he, he's got a kick out. Jack's on the next one, throws a snap. Yeah, Off smart. the lip and sees where John is and kicks out. Smart surfing there from uh, Jack Robinson, just knowing that John wouldn't have got the score on that wave. Where he was taking the wildest lines, it felt like he was driven by something bigger. 
right now out in front as uh, John will take a look under priority. Still committing to this wave, throws down a carve down to 90 seconds. Doesn't have the height that you think he'd be hoping for, but still throws down a reverse and then shuts it down on an aggressive section coming at him. See for John here. Let's have a look at this wave. This was a smaller inside wave. And he's just sort of toying with it here. Couple of more horizontal carves, brings it through to the inside, gets a little air reverse, but Oh, that was just gnarly, that little section that he hit. Yeah. Forced Jack onto that first one, and then potentially got this one. So uh, maybe a little mistake there. As Jack will enjoy the ride, last score for Florence, a 6-3-3. And you're looking at a man that has proved himself at main break. <laughs> Whole crowd on the block is into the countdown, and it is official for the second time at Jack Robinson is the champion of the Western Australia Margaret River Pro. Already was a hometown hero and now even more as he's moving up the rankings and be able to beat John twice at main break. That's a statement. Are we passing the crown now to Jack?